y'all, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic, on the road. I want to show you guys this awesome recipe I have for homemade iced mochas here in my RV. This is Jax, by the way, in case you haven't met him. And I am parked at a Walmart parking lot, camping out. Stuff going on over there, but off to my other side over here, there's like nothing going on. It's really quiet and everything. So um, let me whip out the ingredients and show you what you'll need to uh, make really cheap iced mochas. But you're going to need a coffee maker, obviously, to uh, percolate some coffee. You're going to need half and half. You're going to need a container to store uh, coffee that you've brewed so that you can put it in the refrigerator. I like to have m mine has a cap on it because I'm in an RV and it will move around in the uh, fridge when I'm moving. A spoon, uh, chocolate sauce, sugar, um, mint extract, uh, coffee, a measuring cup for scooping the coffee, a cup with a straw, and an ice tray. I'm kind of going to be swapping around to show you the steps because there are some steps that you have to do in order and uh, have to be patient, but I just keep it always going so I always have more coffee and ice cubes always ready to go. But uh, obviously if you're just starting from scratch you're going to have to make some coffee and then cool the coffee. So what I like to do is, um, and I don't really have another way to measure this except I use shot glasses. So I put three shot glasses of coffee, just like that three shot glasses of coffee. That's a lot of coffee. Now I'm only going to fill up the water level to eight cups of water. That's going to make this a very strong batch of coffee. There we go. Eight cups of coffee and three shot glasses of coffee grounds. Except that now I can't just turn the coffee pot on. I actually have to turn on my generator because I'm not plugging the power. So, Okay. And I will brew my coffee. Okay, so the really good thing about always having more coffee ready to go is the fact that if, since I already had this cold, what I would do is go ahead and I'm going to put this coffee into my ice cube tray. Um, and I'm going to have coffee ice cubes. This is um, a very big step for me. I know Starbucks and McDonald's, they just use ice and that really waters down your iced coffee. but. If you make your ice cubes out of coffee, you are not going to have any problems with watering it down. In fact, as it um, gets warmer and the ice melts, your iced coffee is actually going to get stronger. So make a bunch of coffee cubes, put them in your freezer, and use those. And that's, and that's what we're going to use today. Okay, now for mixing the actual coffee drink. Here's how I do it. I start with Hershey sauce on the bottom. Put whatever. I just put a little layer down there. I don't measure any of this stuff except the coffee grounds, but I just have a layer of chocolate in there. Next is the sugar. I like two tablespoons of sugar. You can put more or less to your liking. It's whatever you want. Then the cold coffee from the fridge, the really thick coffee, I fill up about halfway full. I want to stir it up really good. Get all that chocolate and sugar dissolved in there. Oh yeah. All right, then grab your coffee cubes, and I use three coffee cubes. Three is perfect for me. You can put however many you want in there. I'm going to add two drops of this uh, mint extract. And then half and half. One more good stir. Voila! I do like to use a straw because I don't want to get any of the stuff up here. I want it to come from the bottom. It, just it actually tastes different drinking it from the top than it does the bottom. And there you go. Homemade iced mocha. Oh, man. Okay, so how much does this actually cost to do this homemade iced mocha? Um, all my prices come from what I actually pay at Walmart in the last month. 
here in the summer of 2014. So, chocolate sauce, 209. Half and half is $1.89. Sugar is $2 for this huge thing. Coffee that I pick is $7.99. The extract is $2, comes to a grand total of $15.97 for your ongoing uh, costs to make the coffee. Plus the cost of, or if you don't already have them, you're going to need a container, a cup with a straw, and an ice tray. But we're just talking about the reoccurring prices for making the uh, coffees. So for $15.97, I get easily at least 40 iced coffees out of one batch of all this. But actually it's a lot more than that. But we're going to round it down to I get 40 iced coffees. Divide $15.97 by 40 coffees, it comes to $0.39 cents a coffee. 39 cents a coffee for what I consider the exact same taste of paying five dollars and twenty cents at Starbucks for this first iced coffee that I bought. Plus the cup. But yeah. Every time you go in and buy an iced mocha of this size at Starbucks, it costs five dollars and twenty cents. Or you can make mine for thirty-nine cents a cup. And it is delicious. Freaking try it. And feel free to mess around with um, how much you put of everything to your liking. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys.